Closing arguments in a murder trial that we've been closely following. The fate of a man accused of murdering his 19-year-old girlfriend back in 2018 is finally in the hands of the jury. John Christopher Clark is accused of killing 19-year-old Kiara Bergman and then dumping her body. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 5, I'm Cuddy the Divine. And I'm Mark Curtis. Team 12's Jade Cunningham was in the courtroom as attorneys finished their closing arguments today against John Clark. After nearly six weeks of arguments, a jury will now decide whether 27-year-old John Christopher Clark killed his former girlfriend, Kira Bergman. Bergman disappeared in 2018. She was 19 years old. Her body was later found in the West Valley. The cause of death was never found. Clark was her on-and-off-again boyfriend, and he now faces one count of second-degree murder and tampering with evidence. Over six weeks of testimony, we've heard a lot of noise. On Monday, the state and defense each made one last argument to the jury. This is part of my cross-examination of Mr. Clark. The state focusing on cell phone records, which they feel links Clark to Bergman's death. Most importantly, did he tell you the truth when he was here on the stand? Well, no. Not about Walmart. He didn't. And it's reasonable to assume that he has the same motivation when he's talking to Detective Dalton. He doesn't want him to know doesn't want you to know exactly where he was. Also, they pointed out statements he made during the investigation don't quite match up with what evidence shows. Kiera's only mistake, and her fatal mistake, was putting her trust and her love in the wrong person. This case is about speculation, not science. Fiction, not fact. The defense, though, telling jurors neighbors paint a different picture of what happened, that she was possibly kidnapped, and more investigation is needed. She saw Kiera Bergman in some type of incident, some type of struggle with a black man. She couldn't identify the black man, but she did identify Kara Bergman because she made a report saying she saw her. Clark's defense also argued data records are inconsistent and their evidence shows Clark to be innocent. Look at all the evidence. Look at what they have to prove. They have not proved a single element in this case. The jury is scheduled to reconvene in the morning as both sides anxiously await the verdict. Jay Cunningham, 12 News.